Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mark Abbott and it is my honor to be your MC for today's competition. Today is a fantastic opportunity for MMA Thailand to host the Asian Pacific MMA Championships 2022 with Gamma, IFSA and of course the city of Pattaya. สวัสดีครับผมมาร์กนะครับวันนี้จะรับหน้าที่เป็นพิธีกรในการแข่งขันในครั้งนี้นะครับวันนี้นะเป็นโอกาสอันดียิ่งสำหรับกีฬา MMA และประเทศไทยในการเป็นเจ้าภาพการแข่งขัน Asian Pacific MMA Championships ปี2022ครับและวันนี้นะครับมีการแข่งขันหลายหลายอย่างนะครับมี MMA แล้วก็มี Standing Fighting ซึ่งจะใกล้คิงกับ MMA นะครับวันนี้ก็เป็นการร่วมมือระหว่าง Gamma สมาคมกีฬาการต่อสู้ป้องกันตัวนานาชาติอิฟซาและเมืองพัทยาครับลายดีส์และเจนท์เลมันอิตอิสมายอันนาทูอิฟิเชียลีวอลคัมยูโอลทูดีโอเพนิงเซอร์เมนีของทีอาเซียนแปซิฟิกเอ็มเอ็มเอแชมเปี้ยนชิพส์2022และผมขอเชิญคุณกฤษณะบุญสวัสดิ์รองนายกเมืองพัทยาขึ้นกล่าวเปิดการแข่งขัน Asian Pacific MMA Championships ปี2022ครับสวัสด
ครับเรียนสมาคมกีฬาต่อสู้แกมมาท่านผู้เป็นเกียรติทุกท่านนะครับทำเมืองพัทยารู้สึกเป็นเกียรติเป็นอย่างยิ่งที่ได้ร่วมมือกับทางสมาคมกีฬาต่อสู้แกมมาจัดก,การแข่งขันรายการเอเชียนแปซิฟิก MMA c h a m p i o n s h i p 2022ในครั้งนี้ MMA ซึ่งเป็นศิลปะการต่อสู้ของทุกประเทศมีความหลากหลายจากการผสมผสานศิลปะการต่อสู้ในทุกแขนงมีการต่อสู้อย่างความมียุติธรรมมีความเป็นธรรมและมีความเป็นมืออาชีพเมืองพัทยาซึ่งมีศูนย์ฝึกกีฬาอยู่มากมายมีมาตรฐานหลายแห่งที่มีความพร้อมต้อนรับนักท่องเที่ยวเข้ามาฝึกซ้อมในลักษณะที่อยู่ต่อเนื่องระยะยาวทําให้เป็นการกระตุ้นการท่องเที่ยวและเศรษฐกิจในเมืองพัทยาเป็นอย่างมากในการแข่งครั้งนี้มีประเทศเข้าร่วมการแข่งขันแล้วกว่า17ประเทศในภูมิภาคมีจํานวนนักแข่งมากกว่า150คนจากการแข่งขัน2ประเภทคือ MMA และ Striking MMA ทั้งนี้ผมขอชวนชวนพี่น้องชาวเมืองพัทยาร่วมเป็นเจ้าภาพและช่วมร่วมเชียร์ให้กำลังใจนักกีฬาที่มาแข่งขันรายการ a s i a n Pacific MMA Championship 2022ในครั้งนี้และขอให้การแข่งขันในครั้งนี้ประสบความสำเร็จตามที่จุดมุ่งสมมุ่งหมายตั้งไว้ทุกประการได้รับประสบการณ์ที่ดีจากการแข่งขันและมีความประทับใจในการท่องเที่ยวเมืองพัทยาและขอให้กลับมาท่องเที่ยวในเมืองพัทยาอีกครั้งหากมีโอกาสกลับมาที่เมืองไทยในวันนี้ผมขอเปิดการแข่งขัน a s i a n Pacific MMA Championship 2022ในวันนี้ครับขอบคุณครับขอบคุณครับคุณกฤษณะบุญสวัสดิ์รองนายกเมืองพัทยาครับลำดับต่อไปครับกราบเรียนเชิญแขกผู้มีเกียรติร่วมเปิดงานอย่างเป็นทางการครับท่านแรกเรียนเชิญพลเอกทวีปจันทรโรธนายกสมาคมกีฬาการต่อสู้ป้องกันตัวนานาชาติ President of IFSA ท่านที่สองครับคุณ Alexander Angelhardt President of Gamma ท่านที่สามครับคุณอนมาวงใหญ่ผู้อำนวยการสำนักงานการท่องเที่ยวแห่งประเทศไทยสำนักงานพัทยาครับและท่านที่4ครับคุณอะคิลิสลารีประธานการจัดการแข่งขัน Asia Pacific m i s m a r t i a l Arts และ Vice President IFSA ขอขอบคุณทุกท่านนะครับและนับต่อไปเรามาร่วมกันนับถอยหลังครับการเปิดการแข่งขันกีฬา Asia Pacific MMA Championships ยังเป็นทางการนะครับแต่รอรอแชมป์ไปนิดนึงนะครับนี่แชมป์ไปนี่สำคัญครับรอทีมงานเอาแชมป์ไปมาด้วยครับโอเคพร้อมนะครับเราจะนับถอยหลังนะครับพร้อมนะครับ5 4 3 2 1
นี่คือ Asian Pacific MMA Championship ปี2022ครับท่านผู้ชมครับเราจะพักกันสักครู่คู่ต่อไปนะครับคู่แรกคู่เปิดเวทีในวันนี้นะครับจะเป็นรุ่น 56.7 กิโลครับอย่าไปไหนครับ See you after the break
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Asian Pacific MMA Championships 2022. Correct, I want in a crap chock and a rope MMA. We got has a hook to get kilo lu, nung roy yeezy pap on. The opening bout is an MMA bout at 56.7 kilograms or 125 pounds. The fighter in the red corner, please welcome Mozabek Yanez from Kazakhstan. And his opponent in the blue corner. Please welcome Khan Asim from Pakistan. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, the 12 fights of of the Asian Pacific Gamma MMH Championship are waiting for us now. And the first fight is Yernaz Musabek from Kazakhstan and Asim Han from Pakistan. So Han, Han is the only fighter from Pakistan who advanced to the finals. And you see that he starts the fight very actively. It's uh, 56.7 kilograms. Um, MMA rules. Because I'd like to remind you that we also gonna have the, the finals in a striking MMA. And... Seems like there was a violation of the rules by a Pakistani fighter. So hopefully we're gonna gonna see the the replay. I cannot say what happened there. Was it an eye poke? It seems like it was an eye poke, at least. Yarnas Musabek indicates that. And yeah, it was an eye poke, and now it's a minus one point for the fighter from Pakistan. Thank you. Now the fight starts and this time is Musabek 
who takes the top position and oh what a good good sweep by Han and he's on top and and now Musabek tries to lock lock the triangle what a tight triangle attempt by Yarnas Musabek you can see that he tries to squeeze this triangle and, and oh and it seems like it's a very tight and maybe it's only a matter of seconds yes before before the fight is over and you see that uh, Han preferred to go to sleep instead of instead of tapping out and that's another gold medal for Yernas Musabek from Kazakhstan congratulations team Kazakhstan
Ladies and gentlemen, once again, welcome back to the Asian Pacific MMA Championships 2022 here from the beautiful city of Pattaya, Thailand. MMA Pikat 65.8 kilo ru 145 pound. The next bout is an MMA bout at 65.8 kilograms or 145 pounds. First, the fighter in the red corner, Shaidulov Razabali from Kyrgyzstan. And his opponent in the blue corner. Please welcome Kaziev Ibrahim from Kazakhstan. And the next fight uh, for today is the fight between Ra Rajabali Shai Duloye from Kyrgyzstan and Ibrahim Hasuyev from Kazakhstan. This is this is very interesting fight that we can expect at this Asian Pacific Gamma MMA Championship of 2022. Uh, Ibrahim Hasuyev has already fought tonight. He was fighting in a, in a final of uh, striking MMA in the same weight class, and he he lost to Nirajan Singh from India. But now it's his second chance to become uh, Asian Pacific champion under Gamma Banner. And uh, but this time his his opponent is is the fighter who proved himself as one of the biggest breakthrough fighters for today for for this year uh, Raja Bali Shaiduloev shown great skills in the previous two days and uh, uh, he had a spectacular victory in the first day of the championship when he won against the reigning uh, Gamma MMA champion from Kazakhstan and now he's on his way to long await the title, but we will see. We will see how it's going to be. And we see that Hasuif goes for takedown. But it was, look at how easily uh, Shaidoloev broke the, oh, broke the um, hold of Hasuif and then uh, replied with a couple of very heavy punches. After that, Hasuif was dropped and tried to win a little bit time for himself to recover. But you see that Shaidoloev, he's a very, very aggressive and like all of his fights, he's shown so great potential. And now <coughs> he switches to the, to the side control. So now Shaidoloev has one more minute to work there. And uh, of course, Hasuif is is not that happy about this position. It's a, it was a north south, and now it's a, it's a side control again. Transition to the to the half guard. You see how easily Shaidoloev 
makes the transitions and now he's in the full mount oh look look at what he's doing and now he tries to to work for a mountain tri mounted triangle and it's very likely that he's gonna finish the fight here look look and that's that's over and unfortunately for Ibrahim Hasuev he didn't he didn't find the way uh, to become Asian Pacific MMA championship champion in Gamma and that's his second second silver medal for tonight and for Rajab Ali Shaidoloev is a great great victory very impressive and uh, and that's a first round stoppage and uh, gold medal number three goes to Kyrgyzstan congratulations to team Kyrgyzstan ชิงชนะเลิศของ Asia Pacific MMA Championship ปี2022ครับและคู่ต่อไปจะชกกันในรูปแบบ MMA พิกัด65กิโลหรือ145ปอนด์ The next bout is a bout in MMA at 65.8 kilograms or 145 pounds Introducing first the fighter in the red corner Ibrieva Meriot from Kazakhstan. And her opponent in the blue corner. Please welcome Suka Sandra from Lebanon.
And uh, I'm sorry for technical difficulties. Now we are back and we see how Sandra Sukar, the reigning world champion, is locking the triangle and trying to, to finish the fight against Meriarte Braeva, who already became the, the Asian champion in the same weight class under striking MMA rules. But this is tight triangle and I was is it you, are you okay or not? Stop. Well, not Oh and uh, referee stopped the fight because as he told to the Kazakh athlete he asked her if she's okay and she didn't reply and this was considered as the as the victory by submission stoppage victory for Sandra Sukar, who adds another title uh, to her collection. She is, as I said, she is reigning um, world champion, and also now she has become Asian Pacific MMA champion under the banner of Gamma. So congratulations to Lebanon, first gold medal today. Submission in the blue corner, Suka Sandra from Lebanon. So the first first gold medal, and no doubt it's a big big victory for Sandra Sukar from Lebanon. As we know, when she became the world champion. She even had the audience with the president of Lebanon and uh, of course it's a big, big, huge honor for any sportsman and uh, now we can expect even more and more titles from Sandra as she is a very, very talented young female athlete that wins multiple titles in, at the Gamma Championships. Congratulations to Lebanon one more time. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Asia Pacific MMA Championships 2022. ครั้งนี้นะครับเรามีทั้งหมด 12 คู่ที่จะ MMA 
is a MMA bout at 52.2 kilograms or... Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Asian Pacific MMA Championships 2022. The next bout is at 52.2 kilograms or 115 pounds. Please welcome the fighter in the red corner, Karinzina Madina from Kazakhstan! And her opponent in the blue corner. Please welcome Abueva Farida from Kyrgyzstan. from Kyrgyzstan. So now Farida Abdueva makes her way to the to the rage. And as we know, Farida has already become the Gamma Asian Pacific champion here. It's just about like a few bouts ago, she, she won the championship. She won the gold medals in uh, striking MMA division. And now it's turn for MMA rules. So it's gonna be very interesting to see how how she's going to act this this time. And it was a very, very impressive performance by her in uh, in her in her first final. So now Madina Katizina is in the red corner and uh, Farida Abdueva is in the blue corner. Oh, it's a good knee from Farida Abdueva, and that's exactly what she did in her previous final. And that's that's unsuccessful takedown attempt from Katizina. And Abdueva has a chance to become the first uh, double Asian Pacific champion because there are five five fighters tonight who fight both in MMA and striking MMA finals and two of them Ibrahim Kasiev and Mirier Tebraeva have already fought and uh, they they won 
uh, in Meriak the Braiva won gold medal and then silver medal and the Braigim Hasuev won two silver medals. So for for Farida Abduiva it's a perfect chance to bring two gold medals to Kyrgyzstan. And you see that she works actively, switching the stances. Oh, and a good, good high kick by Farida Abduiva. And another one. Middle kick. So Farida Abduiva, little by little, she finds her range. Good middle kicks from her. Good combination. And again, very good knees from Ty Clinch. That's what uh, Abduiva has shown in the first fight. And that's what she's showing in the in this final. Oh, good combination. Good punching combination by Abdueva. Oh, good axe kick. Another one. And another punch from right. Oh, good middle kick by Farida Abdueva. So you see that her ambitions about becoming double champion are very serious here. the last 10 seconds of the very intense first round and uh, it's Farida Abduiva who was maybe oh a little bit more active and she caught her opponent on a standing guillotine but it wasn't enough time to finalize this submission attempt but very good very good round for the fighter from Kyrgyzstan As you can see, all judges gave it into in the favor of um, Farida Abduiva, and uh, two judges they even gave it as a 10-8 score. So it was it was obvious advantage of Kyrgyz athlete. And now Madina Katijina asks for for the timeout. Make her hair. Yeah, the timeout was called. But so it's uh, minor technical problems with equipment for Madina Katijina, but now she's okay and fight continues. Look how concentrated he is. Is Farida Abduiva. She's very concentrated on any of her actions, and you see how great balance she has. How well she defends against single leg attempt, but nevertheless, Madina Katijina managed to take her opponent down. So it's an interesting test for the grappling skills of uh, Farida Abduiva because we've seen her for uh, four and a half rounds in stand-up solely. 
first it was striking MMA, then it was MMA. And it's very interesting to see what she's capable of on the ground. And that's, that's her first test. Now she tries to hold her opponent's neck into the guillotine, but it's obvious that that, that, that type of submission hold is not going to bring her submission victory. It's not tight enough and it's not done properly. So, as I got it, the, the thing that... Uh, oh, great. The, uh, the, the corner of uh, Kyrgyz fighter was expecting her to, to hold her opponent until they would be stood up, but instead uh, Farida Abduiva did great, great switch, great uh, sweep, and uh, ended up on uh, in a top position, and it was done exactly on time for her, and it's, it was a great moment for her to do that, because it was about one last minute and now she can she can try to work from here even though she, uh, she she didn't work that much and i think she would like to just get back to stand up where she is at her best and, and madina katijana is up and the fight starts again from a stand-up position Less than seconds. Oh, and a, what a great combination! You can see that. Wow! Every time that uh, that Farida Abduiva engages in the, in the tight clinch or uh, tries to land the punches and kicks, it's just vicious. She she takes so much damage for her uh, for her opponents, and. And it's interesting how this round would be scored, but I wouldn't be surprised if this round would go to Abdueva again. And that's exactly what happens. 2018, 2018 and 2017 in, uh, in a favor of Farida Abdueva. Remind you, she's already she has already become the Asian Pacific Gamma champion today and now she is on her way to her second champion title here. In, uh, in the corner of Farida, oh, in the corner of Madina Katijana, in a, in a red corner, it was her corner say like, what does it mean? I can, you can, you need to give it all in uh, round number three, you need to fight for your victory, you still have a chances. And, but no, you see, you see, that's exactly what happened. Uh, Madina Katijana told that she cannot fight anymore and yeah, and she uh, she choose to just to just not to continue the fight, and therefore Farida Abduiva has become uh, double Asian Pacific champion under Gamma banner here in uh, Pattaya, Thailand. Congratulations to Kazakhstan with her, with its Ladies double and double champion, and, and congratulations to Farida as well.
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Asian Pacific MMA Championships ปี2022นะครับสำหรับ MMA รุ่น 61.2 กิโลหรือ135ปอนด์ for MMA it's 61.2 kilograms or 135 pounds let's bring out the fight in the blue corner m a r i t b e k Ulu Argen from Kazakhstan In a blue corner, it's m a r a t b e k Ulu Argen from Kyrgyzstan, and his opponent a l m a s s a r s i m b e k o v refused to to fight due to injury. So Argen m a r a t b e k Ulu becomes the champion without the fight because, uh, as you probably remember, a l m a s s a r s i m b e k o v Uh, previously won by decision, quite surprisingly, against s a i r a n Saginbekov in a striking MMA final, and now Almas s e r s i m b e k o v was supposed to fight in the MMA as well, but he pulled of the pulled out of the fight due to injury. So there is another gold medal that goes to Kyrgyzstan team and Argen m a r a t b e k Ulu. Congratulations, Kyrgyzstan! MMA b i g t 72.6 k หรือ160ปอนด์ The next bout is an MMA bout at 72.6 kilograms or 160 pounds. Introducing first the fighter in the red corner. Please welcome s a y o n n o r o r e from Lebanon. Our next fight, it's uh, our o r e s a g i o n from uh, Lebanon in a red corner. It's uh, 61.2 kilograms uh, MMA, 61. kilograms weight class. And as we know, one fighter from Lebanon, Sandra Sukar, has already won uh, one gold medal for her home country. So we're gonna see if it would be possible for for her teammate. And her opponent in the blue corner, please welcome Rayu Desi from Indonesia. And here is her opponent. Uh, Desi Rahayu from Indonesia. It's, uh, I believe, it's one of only two finalists from Indonesia. So now she got a great chance to bring the first gold medal to Indonesia at this championship, Asian Pacific Gamma Championship here in Pattaya, Thailand. So Aurora s a k y o n from Lebanon and Desi Rahayu from Indonesia. And the referee of this fight is Marco b r o e r s e n from Holland. And this is actually the last MMA fight we're gonna see tonight. After that, we're gonna see six exciting, striking MMA matches between the fights from different countries. So first, we're gonna see how this fight is gonna end. Attacks from s a k y u n It seems like she feels more comfortable in the stand-up so far. Leg 
kick from Rachayu. Looks for opening and it seems like like she's more technical than Arachayu. She's it seems like she has better striking technique, but Arachayu still finds finds an, finds an opportunity to land the punch. Front kick from Sahayu. Oh, good, good punch from Sakyun. Oh, and a series of good punches, and maybe. Oh, oh, that's a good, very good attack by Sakyun. And maybe that could be the end of the fight. So now Marco Borison is watching really closely. Oh, few very hard punches from Sakyun. Now Sahyun tries to work from opponent's back and take her back and possibly go to the rear naked choke. It doesn't succeed yet. Now Sahyun tries to turn her hips and get back on top. On top position. Oh, and now, now this position is is better for her, and maybe from here she will try to attack opponent's neck again, or maybe to punch. Oh yeah, now it's an attack, attack from Aurora Sakhyun, and and that is it. The fight is stopped, and the second gold medal goes to Lebanon. Such a surprise! What a great performance by both Lebanese female fighters in the final. First, uh, Sandra Sukar won in the first round by Triangle, and now it's a TKO victory in the first round by Aurore Sahyun. Congratulations to Lebanon! Ladies and gentlemen, in round number one, the referee has stopped this fight due to a technical knockout for the winner in the red corner, Sayon Harare from Lebanon!
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Asian Pacific MMA Championship ปี2022ครับคู่ต่อไปในวันนี้จะชกกันในรูปแบบ Striking MMA พิกัด 77.1 กิโลหรือ170ปอนด์ The next bout is in Striking MMA at 77.1 kilograms or 170 pounds. Introducing first the fighter in the red corner. Please welcome Samusev Nikolai from Kazakhstan. And now it's time for the first striking MMA final for our second session of the final fights. And the fight now is. Nikolai Samusev versus Chayanon Potijun from Thailand. Kazakhstan versus Thailand. And uh, Nikolai Samusev pulled probably the most incredible comeback victory yesterday when he won when it was left on the 20 seconds in his semi final bout. So let's see what he is capable on this time, what, what he has prepared for the final bout. Welcome, Chayanon Porti Jan from Thailand. Now it's time for the local fans' favorite, Chayanon Porti Jun from Thailand. I need to say that uh, there will be three Thai fighters in the finals. All three will be in the striking MMA category. And Chayanon Potijun had a very impressive fight yesterday when he won against Lebanese opponent and uh, and advanced to the to the final. And now it's time for him to fight and uh, possibly get the crown in uh, 77.1 kilogram weight class under striking MMA rules. So this fight is very interesting because Nikolai Samusev, it was a great performance by him yesterday. He was losing after two rounds and when only 20 seconds left in the third round, he won by guillotine. And it was an incredible performance by Kazakh fighter. It came uh, against another Kazakh fighter, Nurkesh Anas. And now, now Nikolai has a chance to become the champion here. But of course, of course, Chayanon Potijun will do everything to, to make the local fans happy and bring the gold to his home country, Thailand. Because what, what can be better, what can feel better than uh, victory in front of the home crowd? Nikolai tries to lock Chayanon and uh, trap him in the, in the corner and take him down. But I remind you, it's a striking MMA. It's one of the six striking MMA finals that we're going to watch tonight that, that's left in the program of this Asian Pacific Gamma Championship organized by Gamma and Ipsa. And it's a spectacular, great Asian Championship that, that comes to an end a little bit, but still we have uh, many spectacular fights here, spectacular finals. Maybe we will see the first time me gold medal here. 
Anon works from the clinch. Good knee from Nikolai. For Potijun. I think, I think for him and for Nikolai, it's this this position is quite familiar, so they both know how to work from it. And it's the last 20 seconds left here. Not a good knee to the thighs from Potijun. Less than seconds of the round number one. And this striking MMA bout in 77.1 kilograms. So all three judges gave the first round in favor of Kazakh athlete Nikolai Samusev. And now you see that Potijun attacks from the first seconds because that's exactly what he needs to do to win this fight. And again, you, you can see there is a lot, a lot of work that fighters do in a clinch. Knees, kicks, knees to the thighs. And all the time they try to overpower each other. It's a very physically demanding type of fight for both fighters. <laughs> Oti Jun works actively with the knees to the thighs of Samusev. Now, oh, it's a good, good attack by Oti Jun. But part of the punches were blocked by Samusev. That's a, that's a takedown from Samusev, but it's a strike in MMA, so fighters immediately were stood up. So you can see that Poti Jun works from a traditional Muay Thai stance. Now it's already Poti Jun is the one who who tries to take opponent down. You see that most of the time this fight goes in the in the clinch. Both fighters are very active in the clinch, so there is no reason for a referee to break it. So that all the time they work with the knees. And of course in such fight it's it's not easy for the judges to score it. Some good knees from Samusev to the ties of Potijun. Potijun tries to defend and to land some punches by himself. And it's oh, good punching combination from Samusev. And another work in a 
in a clinch and that day that is that the end of the round number two So after round number two, it's 19-19. So the second round went to in favor of uh, Poti June, and now it's a it's a very good chance for a Thai fighter if he will work well in the last three minutes to become the for, first uh, Asian Pacific Gamma champion from Thailand. So I think that's a very very impressive goal so so he really needs to try and give give everything he's got in this fight another another work in the clinch you see that both fighters prefer to work in the clinch no uh, neither of them uh, try to try, try to break the clinch and work from the distance but this this position is preferable for both of them and Poti Jun tries to again tries to land some knees to the tights of his opponent and Samusen replies with a, with a punches and fighters go back to the st starting position and another clinch you see that it's obviously something that uh, Nikolai Samosev prepared in uh, before the fight with his with his coaching team you see that he just all the time when fighter starts from uh, from a starting position, he goes to the clinch immediately. But it seems like uh, Poti Jun is, is also ready to take the fight in the clinch. And what a good throw almost happened by Poti Jun, but instead Samusev went on top. attack from Samusev so Samusev works very well in this third round and it's only 30 seconds and uh, this 30 seconds will probably show us who is more deserving to become the Asian Pacific Gamma champion of 2022 and that's a takedown by Samusev very hard takedown and it's just a few seconds left and that's it Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, the judges have rendered a decision.
for your winner by a unanimous decision in the red corner. Sumosev, unanimous Nikolai decision Ron victory Kandinsky. for Nikolai Samosev. And he became the champion, uh, Asian Pacific Gamma champion in striking MMA in a 77.1 kilogram. Congratulations. Another gold medal for Team Kazakhstan. ท่านผู้ชมครับคู่ที่8 striking MMA พิกัด 83.9 กิโลหรือ185ปอนด์ the eighth bout striking MMA at 83.9 kilograms or 185 pounds let's bring out the fighter in the blue corner Askanov Rostam from Kazakhstan And now we go to the fight between Rustem Akjanov from Kazakhstan and uh, Jai Thakur Jaidev Singh from India. So Rustem Akjanov is declared the winner because his opponent got injured and was forced to, to refuse the fight. And uh, Rustem Akjanov is another representative of Team Kazakhstan who is the Asian Pacific Gamma champion tonight. Congratulations. striking MMA. Picard 56.7 kg or 125 pounds. The ninth bout is in striking MMA at 56.7 kilograms or 125 pounds. Please welcome first in the red corner, Lumpan Thungthap Aprilia from Indonesia.
And this is the next fight between uh, Aprilia Lumbantun Kup from Indonesia and Chemika Suvanchot from Thailand. And it's a striking MMA under 56.7 kilograms. Female athletes are ready to take the place in the ring. And her opponent fighting in the blue corner. Please welcome Kamika Suwanachot from Thailand. And here we can see it's Kemika Suvan Chut from Thailand. And there is another chance for host country Thailand to get the gold medal here at the Asian Pacific Gum Championship in Pattaya, Thailand. So let's see how this fight is going to unfold. That's the start of the, of the fight between uh, Aprilia Lumbantunkup and Kemika Subanchot. It's a striking MMA. Oh, and what an aggressive start from Subanchot. Oh, it's a, it's a great, great exchange of kicks and punches from the start. Very aggressive start for from our female athletes. 56.7 kilograms weight press. So striking MMA, as we can see, suits better for for Thai fighters. Many of them, of course, they have a very solid uh, Muay Thai bait. So all three Thai finalists are fighting in uh, striking MMA. What a great performance from both both fighters! You know, it's a it's a very impressive of what they're doing, and it's it's very fun to watch. It's maybe the most entertaining fight we've seen so far here in the in the main main card second second session of the finals. It is very entertaining. You can see that both fighters are very aggressive. And they throw the, a lot of punches and kicks and knees. And it's very difficult to predict who's got an advantage. It's very difficult to score this fight. As you can see, it's a, it's a great striking technique shown by both fighters. Wow, another good from Suvan Chot. You see that no, no blows went unanswered. Yeah, as soon as... Uh, one opponent lands uh, punches and kicks. It's immediately the punches and kicks from the other one. And it's uh, it's nice to see that female striking MMA has evolved so much. So uh, we can see such a great fights under Gamma Banner from female athletes. Kicks and, uh, and Lumbantun Kup strikes back. Oh, what a high kick from Thai athlete! Great, great first round, and it's interesting to see how it was scored. But it's one of the most entertaining first rounds we've seen today, for sure. Whoa, whoa, what an attack from Indonesian fighter! And oh. The first round is over. What a great first round we've just seen, ladies and gentlemen.
So yes, the second round and first round was given in favor of uh, Lumbantung Kup from Indonesia. So it's, it's very interesting because this gold medal would be the first both for Thailand and for Indonesia. So both fighters are well aware that that they can make history right now and that's a knockdown for Suvan Chot. The referee stopped the fight and uh, counted the knockdown. So it's minus one point now for Suvan Chot in this round. And the fight continues. But it seems like it's it's more and more uh, advantageous positions for Lumbantun Kup. She throws more and more punches and she lands more and more. And her striking technique is, is getting more and more impressive with, with each minute. And there is again great attack by her. from a referee but it's only a, a warning without issuing uh, any penalties so the fight continues and now Suvan Chot still keeps on attacking but now her attacks are a little bit more chaotic than they used to be maybe she's she's getting tired I guess that's quite obvious but you see that her opponent, Lumban Kup, is, looks fresher than her. And maybe that's, that's what would be the key factor to determine the winner of this fight. And the first round went to Lumban Kup, plus she scored a knockdown in this round. So everything goes in her favor so far, and uh, I don't think she... She has any intentions to change the game plan. Sivanchot <laughs> moves forward, throws combination of middle kick and uh, punch. basically how this round is gonna end so I believe that this round most likely will go to Indonesian fighter plus let's take into account that she scored the knockdown during the second fight during the second round So now it's round number three and two previous rounds were scored at 2017, 2017 and 1918 and in favor of Indonesian Lubmansun Kup Patrilia and, uh, and that can be a big big victory for Indonesia because Indonesian team has never had an Asian champion in Gamma and now Lumban Sunkup has a great chance to become the first first champion in history of her country who won at the major Gamma event. Just 
kicks and back kick from uh, Suvan Chot. But I believe that she knows that she is she is losing this fight. So only the good good kicks is not necessary. She needs to try to close the distance to maybe increase the risk for herself for herself. But take a chance and uh, and possibly knock her opponent out because it's not an easy task and it's less and less time left but still it's worth trying even though you can see that Suvan Chot is quite tired after the second round she needs to go forward but she somehow hesitates to do it there was a good good strikes combined with a with a kick oh and now we can see that it's a it's a great great attack by Lumbas and Cook she smells the blood she goes forward and uh, and maybe the second knockdown is near at least it seems like that but somehow Suvan Chot managed to recover after this attack And she goes forward. Oh, and but she takes a very hard counter punches. You can see it's it's not the first time. And you see when it goes to the open exchange, and probably Lumban Sun Kup uh, gets the best of it and uh, emerges as the winner in each uh, exchange with the last last few seconds. In this fight, where the most likely the first Indonesian uh, Asian Pacific champion in Gamma Federation will be crowned. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, the judges have rendered a decision for your winner by unanimous decision in the red corner. First gold medal for Indonesia. What an emotional moment for, for Aprilia Lumbantun Kup. Congratulations, Indonesia. The next bout is in striking MMA at 70.3 kilograms or 155 pounds. Introducing first the fighter in the red corner. Please welcome Bejibek Ulu Zanyibek from Kyrgyzstan. And now it's time for striking MMA final in 70.3 kilograms. And that has to be a very heated battle between uh, Janibek Beishebek Ulu from Kyrgyzstan and Aybek Kaden from Kazakhstan. So first Kyrgyz fighter makes his way to the ring very impressive performance from both fighters during the first two days of the tournament 
so it will be very interesting to see who will become the champion in this matchup. And his opponent in the blue corner, please welcome Kader and Ibak from Kazakhstan! So you see this, the fight starts very fast. Kaden is very active from the first first seconds. Fight! 
So after the first first round, two judges gave it 10-8 in favor of Bejebek Ulu, and one gave it as a 9-9. And now, now it's a tight guillotine by Kaden. It it seems like he was he was aiming for it like from the first seconds of the second round, and it's it's quite tight, but. I'm not sure if he's gonna make it until uh, until he moves into a more advantage position, and that's exactly what we see. Ulu Beishebek gets out of the guillotine attempt, and the fight continues. And that's another takedown, but here is without any submission attempts, so. Fighters get up immediately. Another takedown from Kaden. But as you can see, it's a takedown. So it's only the takedowns. So it's without any, without any submission attempts. And another one. I'm not sure if, if uh, the fans gonna like this tactic from uh, from a Kazakh fighter, but it works so far. I think that's a good, good middle kick from Kyrgyz fighter. Another takedown attempt. Kaden makes a takedown attempt, but it's a good sprawl by Beisha Bekulu. Oh, great spinning back fist by Bejebek Ulu, and then he goes to the clinch and start, start working with the knees. Corner of Bejebek Ulu asks him to put more pressure on his opponent, and that's what he does with the takedown. So it's a pressure, constant pressure by, by Kyrgyz fighter, and that's a takedown attempt by Kaden, but it was unsuccessful. A good knee by Kyrgyz. Martial artist, oh, and, and a good punch. It seems like Ulu looks, looks good in this round, and maybe this round will be given to him as well. So let's see what what the judges will say about the scoring this fight and this particular round. Third round is underway, and on uh, two scorecards it's 19-18, and on one scorecard it's 18-18. So uh, Bejebek Ulu is leading, but he lost the second round on all three scorecards. And you see that's a, that's a clinch, and typical for Muay Thai work. The knees and then 
another takedown attempt by Kaden, but without any any submission attempts. Beishebek tries to take his opponent down. Knees to the ties from Beishebek Ulu. And another takedown attempt, but it's a good, good balance shown by Kaden. And the fight starts in the center. Single leg. Attempt by Kaden and good sprawl by Beishebek Ulu. Again, some elements of Muay Thai. From Beishebek Ulu in the clinch. The last minute, the last 40 seconds actually left in this fight. Oh, and there's a takedown by Kaden. seconds very close fight very even another takedown and sprawl from Kyrgyz fighter and uh, the fight is over For your winner via majority decision in the red corner, that's a majority decision win for Janibek Beishebek Ulu, and, and that's the sixth gold medal for Kyrgyzstan. Very impressive performance by Kyrgyz fighter tonight, and congratulations to Janibek Beishebek Ulu.
ท่านผู้ชมครับในรูปแบบ striking MMA พิกัด93กิโลหรือ205ปอนด์ in striking MMA at 93 kilograms or 205 pounds let's bring out the fighter in the red corner z a r a k i e v z a r a t b e k from Kazakhstan Second to last fight for tonight. It's k a r a t b e k z h a r i k e y e v from Kazakhstan and m a n a r b e k s h a i k e n o v from Kazakhstan. Ladies and gentlemen, in the blue corner we pulled out from injury. Therefore, your winner here in the red corner, z a r i k e y e v k a r a t b e k from Kazakhstan. So k a r a t b e k z h a r i k e y e v became the winner of this fight. Because his opponent was injured, so k a r a t b e k z h a r i k e y e v is the winner of Asian Pacific Gamma Championship in striking MMA. Striking MMA, p i k a t 52.2 kilo or 115 p o u n d The last bout is in striking MMA at 52.2 kilograms or 115 pounds. Please welcome the fighter in the red corner, l o n d i k Tat from Indonesia. Our fighter is just wrapping up correctly according to the regulations. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, please welcome the fighter in the red corner, l o n d i k Tat from India. So, ladies and gentlemen, now it's time for our last fight for tonight. Last but not least, Tat l o m d i k from Indo India and. s u t k a r a n g n o r a c h a n t from Thailand will be taking on each other in a lead striking MMA division under 52.2 kilograms at the Asian Pacific Gamma Champion here in beautiful Pattaya, Thailand. So that's the last chance for the fighter from Thailand to bring gold to his home, con home country. For India, it would be a third gold medal. And his opponent in the blue corner. Please welcome n o r a c h a t s u t a r a n g from Thailand. And here is s u t a r a n g n o r a n c h a n t from Thailand. Striking MMA. As we can see, it's a preferable discipline for all the fighters from Thailand. Three finalists today. Two of them got silver medals, and now s u t t a r a n k n o r a c h a r is having a chance to become the first 
Asian Pacific Gamma Champion under Gamma Banner. So let's see how it goes. And it seems like long geek from India is not able to stand up and travel. And it means that we have a first Thai Asian Pacific champion here in the last fight of the night. Wow, congratulations go to Thailand and Suttarang Norachart who becomes Asian Pacific. Gamma striking MMA champion under 52.2 kilograms. Great performance by Suttarang. Ladies and gentlemen, in round number one, we have a winner via technical knockout. In the blue corner, Norachat Sotarang from Thailand! Special edition gloves from Fairtag. See you after the break.